check the weather and tomorrow I'm on a yellow weather warning for ice and wind and today I'm on a yellow weather warning for wind and rain so let's go to a flood plain <laughs> let's go to a flood plain it can't it couldn't possibly be enough rain to flood my island like not a chance It'd take weeks that wind Chile Baltic look at that beautiful green field it's definitely storm brewing like It'd be nice to get my tarp up before the rain starts so plodding on come on uh, first floodplain camp little uh, snowdrops everywhere bunches of them camps just as we left it it's taking the wind a lot though the uh, someone had been here and had a big fire but it's not went well so I've just piled all the dead wood in the middle there and that's where my fire pit's gonna be oh, you can see just white dotted around. A pair of ducks. He's uh, wrote his name on charcoal, he's a fisherman and he comes fishing on this river quite a lot. I even think he's going to start a fishing channel. Fire pit looks crap doesn't it? Look at him just riving my walls apart. Hey! My walls! You'd be thankful of them when it starts raining and windy and all that. Not that it's going to help much because you've got half of it. <laughs> Wraps up, we've had a little uh, sprinkle of rain. Matter of fact, we're still getting a sprinkle of rain now. I've still got all my junk under there yet, but I've got my hammock and tarp up, that's the main thing. Just got to put my sleeping bag and everything in it. And uh, yeah, I'm sorted. Put my underquilt on now too. There, uh, look. So underquilt, hammock, sleeping bag. I've got a wool blanket, and me and Tyson will be fine in there. It's a new hammock too, because I split the net on the other end. Same one though. is definitely on now <laughs> don't mind a bit of rain I'm gonna get my fire lit shortly give it another 10 minutes I'm just doing some stuff down on that side of the island yeah and I'm watching that river close little stream closely because that cut me off from the land that gets quite deep Good plan. <laughs> this is the log that our original bench was made out of the one we carved our summer so I've been here for about 15 minutes just trying to splice this bit of log but it's so hard because it's like it's obviously thicker than the chainsaw so it's it's so hard to get it in a straight line but I think I'm managing I'm about here all the way through look at that grain on there it looks so nice it's like hidden treasures inside logs it feels loose so it's ready to go it's just this bottom corner to cut out so that is one bit back to camp. You can see I'm size 11 and uh, it's a thick bit of wood. 
Where's the tun? There's a bit of rot that goes right through it there. I might just trim that off at an angle. Add a bit of style to the bench. <laughs> or just leave it to go through one of the two. Might make that the back actually. Still not got the fire lit yet. I've been playing around with these plinths, <laughs> trying to get the bench. And just flat, I was flattening off the bottom on each side, so it sets let, flat on here and it makes it stable so it doesn't rock. And uh, yeah, the rain's got too heavy to be safely working a chainsaw. Like it's hopefully it'll ease off a bit so I can get it finished and done. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a pack of hexi blocks that I brought with us and get a bonfire going. I think if the rain carries on like this, we may have to move. I may eat my words at the start, eh? Enough rain to overpower the banks. But I think it's enough rain to cut off my exit. I'll just keep watching the water, that's all I can do. As soon as it, I'll give it a foot, if it rises a foot, um, I'm evacuating. <laughs> there we go. I've got the long bench. Or could be used as a bed. Both pieces on stumps. Also sorted out the fire area. I'm gonna get ready to light it finally. Tyson's still doing Tyson stuff over there. He doesn't eat the firewood, he just chews it and spits it out. As you see. So the rain's eased off a bit. State of his jacket. Keeps ripping it. Wood's burning like. <laughs> it is absolutely sodden. But I split up, as you see. I found a big log. Split it into sections and split it with my axe and started small and got bigger. That's why I have storm rings. Everything stops at the ring, drips off, and I don't get wet. Awesome heat off that fire, eh? It's dried my pants. Just mud, it'll wash off. <laughs> nice ring of Cumberland sausage. Got my little uh, Shane coffee spit on the go.
Love that bench, eh? Can't wait to show you properly in the morning. Could probably sleep on it if need be. Still waiting on the sausage. Not long. I think my fire keeps getting bigger every time uh, I video it. Some chunky logs on there now. I'm just feeding them in. A bit brown, but absolutely gorgeous. Some nice fresh rolls. And the fire's even bigger. I've just put it all on so it'll take a bit for it to catch. There's some bigger logs. Sitting here having uh, coffee and cake. Chocolate brownie. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're... We're close to flooding. I mean, it, it's risen... Uh, about a foot in an hour my pathway back's blocked but we still have the log bridge but uh, it's not started to fill up the channels to cut across the island yet so I'm hoping it's just a surge and it's going to go back down but I'm going to stand fast and because I have such a large fire I think if I did flood I'd have to put it out because the last thing I want is floating fire in the river because that could land somewhere a bank further down and catch fire and uh, I don't think I could allow that to happen right dude it goes from here all the way along here it is wide as out it's like the thickest log I've ever spliced and then all the way along here and all the way it's like 12 foot long would you leave that sort of wood? No, you wouldn't. I mean, that was that. I walked across that. It wasn't even like ankle deep, and now it's waist deep and fast current. I mean, I'm way up there, like it's about a meter away from it now. So I think I'm good, like. But then it's it's if these channels start filling up, then that's when I should worry, because that's a sign that it's going to flood over. This one here is the lowest one, and it's not running yet, so we should be all right. Right, it's got quite chronic now. If you look, there's channels literally all around us it's just opened up everywhere now the whole island's flooding and my logs about two inches from being underwater so I need to get to it and get my stuff packed up and this fire out and off this island So I've got everything packed up now pretty much. 
can't believe how fast that water's coming up eh? and the rain just keeps on coming down so I think my plan is instead of heading home which would never really be an option for me truthfully I'm going to head up to the woodland camp it's basically directly up from here and I've not used it in a few years just it's always been there for an emergency like this so that's where I'm gonna go hopefully it's it's in good condition it's not far away either but it's a hell of a trudge to get there through mud so but it's better than obviously flooding I can't believe that light look at it that's pretty much my pathway to get off there's not much of it left my log's still out of the water so yeah fairly fairly flooding out like managed to get all my kit across just going back to Tyson now see his eyes glowing and to put the fire out on my tarp before this floods out too much that awesome bench might be the last time we see it everything packed up that's us in our hammock again water's still quite loud still rising too there's Tyson's uh, head <laughs> it's under his blanket we'll uh, we'll catch you all in the morning we slept real good. Um, uh, yeah, the water. Still quite high. My island did flood, but it's going down now, so. And my bench is still there. Isn't it, Tyson? Yeah, that, the water got high, didn't it? We'll check on the bench shortly. It's not as high as it was last night. All that was flooded over there last night. That's pretty much where I pitched. Oh, the bench is still there. Uh, I think it got to the leg where this channel through filled up last night and then this one filled up and that one filled up and over there's still full yeah that's a lot high too still going down fast though I'm glad the bench is okay well I'm gonna plod off home That's me for this one. Big thanks for watching. We'll catch you all again soon.